Investigators are connecting the deaths of four children by overdose to one St. Louis County woman, 30-year-old Mary <laughs> Curtis. Sit- Jesus Christ, man. <sighs> Investigators are connecting the deaths of four children by overdose to one St. Louis County woman, 30-year-old Mary Curtis, sits in jail this morning. News for's Alexis Zotos investigates those deaths including one from a new drug trend that's spreading across the country. We want to protect our kids. The DEA says they're watching the drug Xylazin as it surges in the St. Louis community and across the country. It causes open sores. It causes necrosis, which is the uh, rotting of the skin. Veterinarians use the sedative for horses and cattle, but when mixed with fentanyl, it's especially dangerous. It makes it even deadlier. The DEA saw a 513% increase in overdose deaths involving xylazine in the Midwest over the last two years. And it's popping up in more of the drugs seized on the streets of St. Louis. Approximately 23% of our fentanyl powder seizures contain xylazine. The latest victim. Jesus Christ. That's crazy. You got to do it with fentanyl plus this shit plus other shit. You know, how do you make fentanyl deadlier? Like, you just get within 10 feet of it and you fall down? You are fucking done, man. Our fentanyl powder seizures contain xylazine. The latest victim of the drug, a 17-month-old baby girl. This woman, Mary Curtis, is charged with the child's death. Court documents say on March 20th, Curtis babysat the child in her Jennings home. The one-year-old wasn't related to her, but the child was taken to the hospital and died. A toxicology report found a mix of fentanyl and xylazine in the baby's system. Unfortunately for a young child, uh, it's it's going to be very deadly. It's, you know, their, 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 their makeup is not like an adult, and uh, they haven't fully developed, and unfortunately, it's going to be much worse. It's going to be hard to save a child uh, who, who's ingested uh, uh, xylazine mixed with fentanyl. But that child isn't the first to die in Curtis's care. Yo, so your son woman, you just wow. keep getting the babysit kids and they keep dying and shit. Yeah, and you still got a job doing this shit? This and you still got all your hair on your head? <laughs> yo, this is crazy. Yo, yo, should she be in jail for like the other kids that died before? What the? F- this is crazy. Black women, oh yeah, like they said, black women got to mute themselves. They can't express themselves. It's so hard for black women. Uh, what is it? I work twice as hard to get half as far. Twice as hard to get half as far. Kill twice as many children as a white but man Ak, to go to jail. <laughs> but Ak, it's the baby's fault. It wouldn't shut up, so he, she had to use a sedative to keep it quiet. Yeah, unfortunately, mm-hmm. man, that might not even be fucking. That might actually be what happened here. I hope not. But that child isn't the first to die in Curtis's care. According to court documents, she was facing child endangerment charges in St. Louis City from March of last year when her own baby, just 17 days old, died of a methadone overdose. Curtis was out on bond when she Yo. cared for the child. Oh, who- God, she's out yeah, on bond. And a lot like, like purpose. here's another kid. And her own child, her. too. She's out on bond for killing her own kid. Did they, did they ever say who's um the second child that the, the kid that the first kid? Did no, the about? first kid wasn't even related to her, so it's not even a family member. So yeah. she must be um, soliciting her services as a babysitter yeah. or something like that. That's, that's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to figure out because that's what it sound like. Either or that, or she's dating a, a. Either she's dating a baby daddy. Or it's another drug, uh, drug addict, baby. Yeah, maybe so. Who died last week? A judge wrote in the arrest warrant, "This may be the fourth infant to die as a result of the defendant." Officials say two other fourth. babies previously died of overdoses, but charges were not filed. Nothing will bring back this innocent child's life lost to a drug overdose. But the DEA here in St. Louis, as well as Washington, D.C., along with Congress, are vowing to help stop the spread of xylazine. First off, you can still buy it on the Internet. Because they need to stop the spread of that shit. No, the fucker name is. They need to stop the spread of her. Mary, 
Hey, I, 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 I figured out what we need to do. We need to give her a George George Floyd dose of fentanyl. Yeah, that, but shit, and keep all babies away from her after you do that. Congress are vowing to help stop the spread of xylazine. First off, you can still buy it on the internet because it's not a controlled substance. We are here to sound the alarm and to propose a two-part plan to fight and to fund this evil xylazine. Right now, our uh, headquarters uh, at DEA, we're, uh, we're in the process of making xylazine uh, a controlled substance. That would allow them to arrest and charge traffickers. As for Curtis, she remains locked up in St. Louis County on a $1 million bond. You notice how they never went into detail about the two kids, that, the two infants that died and why the case was dismissed and why they didn't charge her? Right. It's, it's probably sad. It's probably too sad, man. Like, she, 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 this woman is evil. God forsaken, goddamn.